We'll go to Christy on the right side, then we'll go to Mark on the left. Christian, how tough is it to uh, play them so close but still not come up with the win? It's tough. Um, this is a third opportunity uh, I've got in my career to play them. And uh, each year that you know I've been able to play them and be on the um, you know, each season that we've been able to play them uh, since I've been here, it's been close. Um, we've always played them close, and um, it's it's tough uh, just to to you know know that if a couple more things would have went your way, um, you know, you would have had a closer shot to win the game. It's tough, you know. That's how Alabama is, and you know, uh, all the credit goes out to them. They're the number one team in the country for a reason, and they're not going to give you anything. You have to go out there and beat them, and um, you know you can't beat yourself. And uh, we beat ourselves in, in a couple aspects of the game tonight. But um, you know, kind of what, what Colin said earlier was just you know we uh, you know think about it tonight, and then tomorrow it's uh, on to Florida. Left side, Mark. Christian, can you talk a little bit about the, the uh, touchdown uh, catch that you had? That was pretty wild play. Mm -hmm. um, kind of walk us through how you were able to kind of keep the, your route alive to give Kellen, or to give Kellen a shot to get it to you? Yeah, uh, it's kind of similar to the Arkansas game. Uh, I talked a little bit about it. Uh, just with him and being able to be mobile, uh, you got to stay alive for him. And um, he's great at making people miss, and that's our job as receivers to get open. Um, <clears throat> if, you, you, if you were to look at it, and I'm sure it'll come up on film, uh, I was running around back there just pretty much in circles, uh, trying to figure out which way he was going. Um, and just finding a way to get open. And all you need is a little bit of separation. And I uh, was able to come back to him after he uh, ended up rolling right. And uh, you know he gave me an opportunity to catch it. And I talked about it a lot, you know, especially with Kellen being young. That's on us as receivers to go out there and make those tough catches for him. And uh, all that was was a great throw by him and just you know me having to come up with the catch. Right side, Ben, then we'll go up front to Travis. Now, Christian, how much does a team like Alabama reduce the margin for error? A lot. Uh, like I said, they don't beat themselves. You have to go out there and beat them. Uh, you know, they're the most disciplined team in the country. Uh, they don't make mistakes, and they're going to take advantage of your turnovers. And, you know, we saw that tonight. And uh, it's happened in recent years. You know, just whenever you have a turnover, they're going to take advantage of it. That's why the margin for error is so small uh, with great teams like that. You know, you got to be able to go out there and um, execute and make sure that, um, you know, that, that things like that don't happen. Right up front, Travis. I'm going to Christy. And then the back to Daryl. There's been a lot of growth from the young players over the past couple of weeks. Do you feel like even though there's a loss, there was some momentum from this game that can carry on to the next games? Without a doubt. You know, I think everyone sees each week we're getting better and better. Each week our young guys are getting better and better. Kellen's getting better and better. And it's the way that we're approaching practice. Um, you know, with, with the younger guys, it's all about their mental game and, you know, how they're thinking and what they're talking, uh, telling themselves. And, you know, what us as, you know, older guys and leaders are telling them. And giving them, you know, their sense of confidence, and uh, that's all they need because they're not f afraid to go out there and play and make plays. And that's the best thing about it. And whenever they make mistakes, they move on. They play the next play. So I think, you know, as the season goes on, we're going to keep growing stronger. And uh, you know, I'm pretty confident that, you know, this next week going into to Florida, we're going to have our best week of practice, and then, you know, going to the bye week, and then uh, each week, uh, you know, this we still have a long season to go, and I, I feel like each week we're going to get better and better. Christy. On the right side, then we'll go to the back, Daryl, and then Ben, you'll wrap us up. Um, how much have you seen Kellen grow since UCLA to now? And do you think you're starting to see flashes of just how good he can be? Oh, without a doubt. Uh, you know, I, I think everybody saw that tonight. He, uh, you know, he still has a little bit to go. You know, when it comes to you know feeling the pressure in his face and being able to step in the pocket and keep his eyes downfield. Um, but that's a part of being a young quarterback. You can't expect him to go out there and um, you know stand in there and make every throw. Uh, but each week, you know, he's being able to, to, to be more comfortable, uh, sit in there and deliver some throws. Uh, you know, he delivered two, two big time throws the past two weeks uh, across the middle on Diggs to Damian. Uh, that's not a hard throw. That's not an easy throw to make. And, uh, you know, I was really proud to, to see, <clears throat> you know, him be able to work. And, you know, like I said earlier, and uh, weeks before, you know, he just approaches each week uh, with the mindset to be better. He's really hard on himself. And, you know, that's a good thing, you know, because he wants to be great. He wants to be the leader of this team. He wants to, to win. And, um, you know, we're going to ride him uh, all the way through, and uh, he's going to keep getting better. Staying at Daryl in the back. Christian, how disappointing is it for you guys offensively after the block punt that you couldn't get something going on that next drive? Because you had the crowd in it, and 
you knew that place was about to explode. Oh, yeah. You know, we uh, it, it's definitely disappointing. Uh, we got to be better as players going out there and executing the calls uh, and just going out there and putting the, the, the ball in the end zone. Red zone is a big, big time thing for us, uh, something that we emphasize a lot uh, on, on our side of the ball on offense. And uh, so we're going to go back and look at the film and, you know, get better and uh, make sure that, you know, we're putting, you know, a lot of emphasis on the red zone uh, whenever we have an opportunity to score because, you know, we got to put <clears throat> put the ball in the end zone because, you know, the defense is, is playing great and, uh, you know, we got to make sure we're doing our part as well. Ben, you'll wrap us up. You know, if if y'all get that touchdown late and y'all maybe don't make some of the mistakes that y'all made early in the game, I mean, how, how much closer is that game in the fourth and where do you think y'all's chances are to win that? You know, I think... Uh, you know, that's, you know, it's kind of hard to say. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of, you can't really predict, you know, what the outcome is going to be. Uh, that's what's unique about the game of football. You just got to keep playing because all it takes is one play. And, um, you know, one play can change the whole entire game. You know, obviously we wanted some things back there. Um, but I still think in the fourth quarter it was a close game. Um, you know, we still had an opportunity at the end. You know, we, you know, uh, recover the onside kick. We have a shot to, you know, maybe throw a Hail Mary. And then, you know, it's hard to play, um, you know, theoreticals and, you know, think about that type of stuff. But like I said, you just got to play the next play and, um, you know, be able to go out there and execute. Uh, they, they took advantage of our, our turnovers and, you know, they came out with the win. All right. Thank you, Christian.